Last night, my wife's boss from a brand new job invited us over for dinner. On the drive over, my wife reiterated many times to me just how important it was to make a good impression. I scoffed and arrogantly informed my silly wife that I always make good impressions. My wife's boss is a single lady in her fifties, so it was just the three of us. We chit chatted over drinks and salads and seemed to be really hitting it off. She laughed at my well timed, perfectly appropriate jokes, and my wife seemed pleased. Soon she brought out the main course, a nice, big, juicy steak for each of us. As I began to cut into my steak, I was discouraged to discover how undercooked it was. Now, I've had my fair share of rare steak. I prefer medium, but I can handle rare. This was several minutes on a hot grill short of rare. I probably could have resuscitated the cow had I tried. Instead, I sat there fidgeting with my knife and fork, worrying about how I was going to get away with not eating this steak. Claim veganism? No, I already feigned great enthusiasm upon seeing the steak. Just then, our hostess excused herself to the kitchen to take care of some dessert preparations. As I looked across the fancy dining room table at the open window of the apartment, a cartoon light bulb appeared over my head. I knew I had to be decisive, realizing that she could return at any moment. I committed. I grabbed the steak with my hand, gently shook off the juice, and executed a perfect throw right through the center of the open window. That's where things went wrong, big time. The window wasn't open. It was the cleanest window you'd ever seen in your life. That is, until my mostly raw slab of steak slammed up against it and slowly slid down, leaving a trail of bloody juice in its wake. My wife, whose steak was a nice, medium-rare, and who was unaware of my predicament, turned, jaw-dropped, and stared at me like I was an alien from another planet. This look then slowly morphed into more of a there is no place on this planet you can ever hide from me expression of demonic anger. My wife's boss heard the thud of the stake on window impact and came quickly. She took in the scene, the stake sitting on the windowsill, the blood trail, my empty plate, and then gave me an inquisitive, puzzled look. I just didn't know what to say. I felt like a minute of silence, but probably three or four seconds. Finally, the best I could manage was, I'm sorry, I'm such a klutz. I don't know. I was just cutting it, and it's it slipped. Just ask my wife. I really am a klutz, right, honey? No help coming from that direction. I'll clean this up. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry. Etc., etc., etc. Both women continued to stare at me like I had escaped from the loony bin as I smeared the blood around the window with my cloth napkin, dusted off the stake, and continued to mutter my incoherent explanation. I knew no one was buying the story. I knew what I had to do. I sheepishly returned to my seat and proceeded to eat every bite of that disgusting, cold, chewy, bloody, raw steak. I remained pretty quiet the rest of the evening. My wife's only two words to me immediately after the incident were, I'm fine. The following afternoon, I got another text from her, which read, Good news! The boss and I just had a good laugh over how much of an idiot you are. I hope you know you'll never live this down. I love you, you moron. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this story in its entirety. If you enjoy what you hear and what I do and would like to support me and my efforts, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Jiry. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. If you'd like to see a particular story narrated, 
including one you may have written yourself, send it to submissions at otisgyrie.com and I'll take a look. If you're interested in more of my work in the horror genre, you can also find me at Chilling Tales for Dark Nights on their website and YouTube channel, and on Chilling Tales, the podcast now available on iTunes. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you.